for an entry-level webcam, the C922 Pro has come in really handy, but I think it's time for me to upgrade to 4K for the smoke cam, so let's go. The Logitech Brio 4K Pro webcam, coming in as the best 4K UHD webcam from Logitech, with a modular USB-C port, making it extremely easy to set and reset your camera wherever you need to set. To change mounts on the webcam, just grab the base, wiggle it back and forth, and it will pop out. You can screw in whatever mount system that you need, and if you just want to go with the standard, you can switch it back. Just when putting it back, make sure you put it on the right way. It was accidentally on the wrong way, so I had to switch it back, but that's life. In addition, the stock mounting stand is amazing, and because of its height, I'm going to use it for every stream. Now getting into the other contents of the box, you get three different things. A little bag to put your camera in for travel, nice felt that you can toss it in for travel. Next up, you've got the camera cover, which is good if you want your privacy, don't trust the government, and think that somebody's hacking you. Last box content is the USB-C cable, very long, very nice, and modular, so you don't always have to have it plugged in when packing for travel. But now let's jump into best setup on OBS. As you can see, you got these bars on the side. You want to get rid of those as well as activate UHD 4K. Now that unfortunately cannot be done within OBS, but you can still get the bars to go away. But if you're just trying to put it into 4K format, it won't work. But if you change the output resolution to 1920 by 1080, it will work, but you still won't have UHD. To set up 4K UHD, you will need to download Logitech Capture. You can find it in the description below. Open it up, install it however you want to install it. If you want to have them do analytics, that's on you, but there will be an initial software update, so expect that before being able to open up Logitech Capture. Next, they're going to advertise the stream cam to you and give you some helpful insight about the software. Next, set your device and then create a Logitech account. Once you've made your account or signed in, you'll be able to change your field of view settings as well as activate HDR, higher quality video footage in OBS. Now you can either prioritize exposure or frame rate. As you can see the difference, we're going through it on the camera here right now, but we still need to change the Logitech Brio's resolution output settings. So we need to go into resolution and find full HD, change your frames per second to 60 and make sure your encoding is on the NVENC if you want the best video quality possible. As you can see, the resolution for some reason didn't change. So I went in and went back to full HD and I proceeded to click it a couple extra times. I got about a 30 second delay before it changed to HD and boy, could I see a difference not only in the frames per second, but also video quality going over textures. I tried out the zoom a little bit. I'm not going to use that, but if you need to know, that's how you do it. And you got three fields of view. We're going to take over to open OBS right now and now everything will be working properly. We'll have the full HD and OBS. We'll be able to switch between the fields of view. Now for a review summary, if you're really serious about doing some streaming or higher quality video, you definitely want to have this Brio over the C922 Pro, not only for the better video quality or the USB-C port modularity and then the field of view variability, but the 4K 30 frame per second as well as the 1080p 60 frames per second video quality. Giving a first glance to how this camera is going to work on our stream, it's going to be working great and we're going to have a much better video quality for all you wonderful people trying to chalk up on Tuesday and Thursdays at 7:10 Central Standard Time every Tuesday and Thursday. So come check out the stream where we do 3D print sweepstakes giveaways. So don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and get ready for more content as we will be back tomorrow for a streaming sweepstakes. So stay elevated and as always, peace out.